From now, we would like to start the regular press conference. The floor is yours. This morning at the lower house, the committee meeting started earlier than the schedule. MOFA convention and the investment agreement voting was done earlier than scheduled. So I apologize for having to reschedule the press conference in the afternoon. There are two points that I would like to report to you in relation to emergency aid. First of all, India. Today, the Japanese government decided on $14,800,000 emergency grade aid to be provided to India as part of our assistance to India. This assistance is part of the additional assistance of up to $50 million as conveyed by myself directly to Minister Jaishankar, Minister of External Affairs in London recently, specifically upon receiving request for additional assistance from the Indian government, we will be providing 1,000 ventilators and 2,000 oxygen concentrators. Together with uh, those that have already been announced, 1,800 ventilators and 2,800 oxygen concentrators will be provided to India. And another point is the support to Palestine. Based on the situations in Israel and Palestine yesterday and the day before, I had opportunity uh, to have the intensive teleconference uh, with Israeli, Palestinian, and Jordanian foreign ministers. I did uh, talk about the sustainable uh, ceasefire and alleviation of tension and uh, exchange opinion for the emergency support. Uh, with this uh, recent conflict at the Gaza Spit, uh, there is a significant damage, uh, including COVID-19 measures, medical, health, and food-related uh, support needs are now arising. In order to cater to this need, uh, Japan uh, is uh, trying to provide uh, humanitarian and restriction support, and that is uh, what I have uh, instructed. As the first package uh, through International Institute, at the maximum of a $10 million emergency grant aid uh, is supposed to be implemented, and that is uh, what we are currently coordinating. As Japan, Middle East uh, peace uh, issue, uh, we are hoping uh, to have the confidence of building uh, through two-state solution, Gaza Strip, emergency support and including the support for reconstruction, we would like to take the active role. That is all. Those of you who have questions, please raise your hand and proceed to the microphone. Identify yourself and your affiliation. Any questions? Yes, please. Gigi News, my name is Ichigo. I have a question on vaccine procurement to Taiwan. According to some press reports, they are having problems with regards to securing supply of vaccine in Taiwan. And there have been reports uh, mentioning the government of Japan will be providing AstraZeneca vaccines to Taiwan. What is the What are the facts? Towards the attainment of universal health coverage, we believe that equitable access to safe and effective uh, vaccines in all countries and regions around the world is of great importance. That is the position of the Japanese government. Next week, the COVAX AMC summit will be jointly hosted. Prime Minister Suga and myself will participate. And at that meeting, we will call upon the international community for cooperation towards that end. From such perspective as well, we wish to expeditiously consider the appropriate policy on supplying other countries and regions vaccines that exceed the volume needed at home, provision of such vaccines to countries and regions that are currently faced with shortage. Ten years ago, at the time of the Great East Japan earthquake, Taiwan was one of the first uh, partners that had committed to donation and provided assistance, which is vividly remembered by the general public of Japan. And since last year in Taiwan, COVID-19 was quite effectively conveyed by Taiwan. But more recently, it seems that infection has spread. 
In July, I'm sure that the production system will become much more robust, but ahead of uh, such timing, they are currently faced with shortage of vaccine. So that situation is taken into contemplation, and we also consider the relationship between Japan and Taiwan to decide on the appropriate policy. Hurita-san, please. Next question. Uh, Furuta from Hokkaido Shimbun. Uh, it's about a former uh, professor, Yuan Kikuin, of uh, Hokkaido University of Education. It will be two years uh, after being detained uh, tomorrow. And has the Japanese government uh, been able to uh, check uh, his survival? And uh, the family and uh, his uh, friends are asking for the release, but that does the Japanese government take any action for the release of the professor, uh, for uh, Professor Yuan Kikin? Uh, for uh, long years, uh, he has been working at our university university in Japan, uh, we have interest and we are consciously monitoring the situation. But due to the nature of uh, this situation, I would like to refrain from commenting any further. Are there other questions? If not, thank you. This is the end of today's press conference. Thank you once again.